What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today we got update 1.08. I will link these patch notes down in the description below if you would like to read over them for yourself. This update for me was around 3.5 gigs on PS4. I know that's going to vary depending on what platform you're on. But let's go ahead and get right into these patch notes. First of all, back-end fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability across all modes and all platforms. The right shield got a few more tweaks. They fixed a bug where players using the right shield would not take explosive damage during certain situations. And fixed an issue if you were using the right shield, it would stow on your back when you were using stem shot. Now when it comes to footsteps, it is adjusted to always play walk footstep sounds when an ADS and crouch independent of speed and increase the speed in which you can remain using the walk footstep sounds by slightly pressing on the movement stick. That is kind of wordy for what they were really meaning. Uh, they were trying to say that all the independent movements now will have their own sound. To begin with, that was not the case. If you were ADS walking, it still sounded like you were walking kind of heavily. Uh, so now if you're ADS and walking, it should be quieter. If you're crouch walking, it should be quieter. If you're jogging, it's going to be a bit louder. And of course, if you're double sprinting, it's going to be the loudest. It did not seem that all of this was working correctly in the game, that each independent motion did not have a particular sound set to it, or it was just not working right. Now that seems to be the case, so you should not hear people as well if they're crouch walking or ADS and walking. You only should be able to hear people if they're jogging or, of course, if they're sprinting. Uh, and also it seems to be if you are not, of course, you know, holding down the, the movement stick as hard, you're going to hear a little bit less sound when you're using that movement stick. So that should give you kind of an idea of how much noise you are making. Uh, they did some fixes for the challenges. General UI uh, fixes for the challenges being out of sync. Uh, the error code dev error 5476 was challenge related. I have not seen this personally myself, but I know some people have got have got kind of talked about getting this error code, so that has been fixed as well. And fixed for the mission challenge description, get kills with a burst weapon being too vague. Uh, Piccadilly got some changes. I know this is kind of uh, a lot of people's probably most hated map ever. Spawn tuning while playing TDM and DOM. And the domination flag adjustments, the B flag is now near the buses instead of the center fountain. They did some changes to weapons. Also, AR's got minor hip spread adjustments. The 725 got another range reduction. Now, this range reduction for the 725 was for that odd shot that was still, you know, killing players at, at extreme range. So they have kind of taken that extra, you know, that extra damage that was, you know, getting the players were getting every once in a while at that extreme range. So that has been toned down. The M4 got some more increased hip fire spread and decreased damage to the head. The Foul got a reduction in recoil and increased ADS speed. The EB14 got increased ADS speed. And miscellaneous ammo reserve adjustments upon spawning to be in line with other weapon classes. And last but not least, they fixed a bug where players using the overkill perk with an SMG as their secondary would sometimes spawn without a primary weapon when joining the match in progression. So guys, we got some good changes again today. Uh, I think they're trying to get everything kind of sorted out, all the, the wrinkles kind of, you know, ironed out here now that the game's been out a couple weeks. These were some good changes in my opinion. I know a lot of people were still kind of upset with the 725 shotgun. It looks like that has now, that is now not going to be such an issue at long range. We'll kind of have to wait and see. I know they said they wanted to keep all of these weapons to kind of to their identity. They didn't want it to just, you know, absolutely blast them, you know, make them horrible. And, and change so much stuff that they're not usable anymore. They're trying to make sure all these weapons are still usable, still viable, still good, but at the same time, not make any of them way too strong. Um, so like I said, all of this stuff is linked down in the description below if you'd like to read over it for yourself. Of course, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. Of course, click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And of course, check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description below. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.